Hi everyone, I hope everybody is doing well. I wanted to share with you and give you a tour of my second story guest bathroom. I didn't do much to it, but I wanted to share with you a little touches that I've added. Now, the look I was going for was a spa-like feel, so if you guys want to do a, uh, or if you're in the process of doing your bathroom over, or if you want to make it over, you could really do it on a budget. And I want to share with you what I have done to achieve somewhat the look. But I'm pleased with it, so I want to share with you what I've done. Now, if you guys want to go for this look, you want to start with paint. That's the very first thing that you want to do. Get some paint. You want to start with colors of, you know, the cools, the cool colors, like the cool blues and the cool greens. Those colors are very calming and relaxing, and it screams spa. So that's what I've done to achieve this look. Now, I have painted this bathroom when I first moved in. And over time, I just never got around to adding, you know, a few touches here and there. So I want to share with you what I've done. So I, I'm sorry if you guys want the, the, the name of the colors. I just don't have them. I'm so sorry. So let me go through the room. So like I said, I painted the walls like a, they like a bluish green. They look kind of green on camera, but it's, it's kind of like a bluish green. And that's what I did with the walls. The... The, the blinds that you see up there, those are Roman shade bamboo blinds. That, that's what I like to put in bathrooms because of the mold and, you know, the steam. It just kind of, it's, I don't want to use curtains, but that's what I've chosen to do. And that also brings like that spa-like feel into the bathroom. And as you can see, I have double sinks. I love this bathroom because it has a lot of storage, as you can see. And it also has a, a restroom, which I will show you. Um, in, in a moment, I will show that to you. And it also has a, a, a shower as well. So lots of room for guests. Two, three people could be in this bathroom at once. And that's what I love about it. Now, let me show you what's on the counter. So here I have some, some goodies <laughs> that will, you know, give you that spa-like feel. Let's start with, well, first thing I want to start with is, is the candles. The candles, you've probably seen these before. I love using them. Um, when I have dinner parties, but I think it looks great here in the bathroom. I've never tried them here. Once again, I have shopped my home, and that's where uh, these are going to stay for a while because I'm, I'm kind of liking that so far. So I have candles, so you want to add some candles, of course, to achieve that spa-like uh, feel. Over here in the corner, you see that I have a vase. And it's sitting on a little plate that I have there. I was going to add some soaps there, but I haven't found the ones that I want to um, to use just yet. Over here, this is a candle holder, believe it or not. I got it from Home Goods, and it was $12.99. And what I did was I added dinner napkins inside. I feel like, you know, when you have towels or, you know, fingertip towels to dry your hands, I just, I'm not... I'm not feeling that at all because, you know, sometimes it has germs and you have a lot of people using the same towel dry, drying their hands. It's just, it's not sanitary to me. So I just placed some dinner napkins inside and I think it's really nice. And it also has, I don't know if you can see it or not, it has like a, uh, a vintage feel to it kind of. It has like this little flower that's on it. You probably can't see it, but it's there. And here I have a perfume bottle just to add a little whimsy and a little decor into the bathroom. That was from TJ Maxx. It was $12.99 and it's super duper. It is so heavy, but it's beautiful. You know, a lot of bang for your buck there. Here I have some apothecary jars that I got from also TJ Maxx. It was $3.99 and $4.99 for the two. And like I said, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of money to make things beautiful. You really don't. You just gotta shop. That's all you gotta do. And here I have a soap dispenser and a soap dish that I got from Ross about three or four years ago. And I just love it. It's, it's kind of like an off-white with silver inside. And I just love it, love it, love it. So this is the look that I was going for. And I think I did pretty good by adding um, some, some decorative things here, but not, you know, cluttering up the countertop. Over here I have is a... This was a, a print that I got from TJ Maxx. It was $3. Regular price was $19. I had this about 10 years. I'm not kidding you. And it was like a, a brown color and of course, good old spray paint. I spray, spray painted it white to go into the bathroom. So that was um, 
another bang for my buck because I had it forever and I just I, it fits perfect perfect there here I have a ladder the reason why I have a ladder is because as you can see this space is so tight it didn't come with towel bars at all so what I did was I got this ladder from Target about four years ago when I first moved into my home and instead of you know drilling holes in the walls and you know I just didn't feel like dealing with that plus it wasn't enough space to hang towels onto the wall so I have here a towel well I'm using it as a towel rack but you can also use it as a magazine rack as well and on the floor here as you can see I have some I have a runner and it's pretty long it's about eight by two I think but it's pretty long it's soft it's microfiber and it's memory foam and it's just so comfy so those are little touches that you want to add to your restroom when you're if you know if you're thinking about doing your bathroom over and let me just show you this little detail over here this here I got just a few days ago I got it from oh TJ Maxx and it was $4.99 this little deer head um, it's a little out of my element, but I thought it was cute, and I think it's a girl deer. I'm not sure. I don't know. But I have a robe here for anyone who wants to use it if they, in case they forget their own. And here is the shower area, and like I said, it, you know, it has a door where you guys could close the door off, and two or three people could be over there doing their hair and makeup, you know, getting all pretty. So I like that uh, that function of the bathroom. And over here, as you can see, I have another... Uh, blind that I hung here. This bathroom is loaded with lots of light, which is so nice. And during the day, I open up the curtains. I open up the blinds rather to let sun in, but I, I have it closed so that too much light won't come in and blind you guys. And over here on the door, I have one of those hanging racks to hang your wet towels on. Over here, over the toilet, I got this from IKEA. You guys know I was in Orlando. And I came across this, this, um, it was from, it was from the kitchen department in Ikea. And I thought it would be nice to put some toilet paper and, <laughs> you know, I love using greenery, some greenery, um, in, in the bathroom as well. And I think it's functional. Now, the other one I had was one of those, it was a cute little outhouse little thing where I keep extra toilet paper in. And I used to keep it in the corner, but everyone no one looked in it so <laughs> I said you know let me get something that's functional and and pretty where everybody can see that there's toilet paper so that's what I've done there and recently I just added this magazine rack in case you want to read you know and over here I added just you know um, another ta uh, I'm sorry another uh, area rug that kind of matches the one that I have here the runner that I have here so I just wanted to show you guys what I have done and if you guys want to see um, on my blog at BeMyGuestWithDenise.com, I do have some information and some links if you guys want to purchase this here or go to Ikea. I don't know the name of it. Well, I do know the name of it, and I'll have it on my blog, but I, I can't pronounce the name. You guys know I'm bad with, <laughs> bad with names. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon, my friends. Bye-bye.